I've just placed on the screen a copy of the alleged DNA test results in regards to the child journey. Is it okay if I see these results? Yes. States Exhibit A is admitted into evidence. So he is the father? Of That's what the DNA test results show. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You know uh, how many other children he may have under the age of 18 besides journey? Um, if I'm, I, maybe two. Um, because I don't, it's, a, it's some stuff that I don't know. Um, so maybe okay. two. Now, are you asking for back child support? Um, no, I don't want to do the back child support because he said he cannot afford to do the back child support. Okay. Um, uh, Bendron Averett. Where do you work? I work with uh, Indoroma. In the realm of ventures. And how long have you worked there? Uh, Ma'am, I didn't hear you. How long have you worked there? Uh, right at four and a half years, something like that. And how much do you make an hour? I make $3,500 every two weeks, gross. And does that include your overtime? I don't have any over that straight 40 hour week. I work from 6.30 to three every day. Okay, and you don't, and you don't make any and overtime? We're, we're, we only made, we made overtime. We had a freeze and we have, the plant was down. The lady was explaining to me that she got me down for making $6,000 a month. I wish that God I was making 6,000, I mean, uh, $12,000 a month. I wish I was making $12,000 a month. And uh, I can get a letter from my my employer stating that we are not operators. I'm just a, a craftsman. I have a craftsman job that we <clears throat> from 633. We don't work 12 hour days like the operators do out here. The operators are the ones that get all the overtime and all that because they don't shift work. We only work from 633. And the only okay. time we do get over time is the plant go down or if uh, like this freeze happened, if we all, all hands was on deck to get this plant back up and running. And I showed Deja my check okay. stuff where I had made a decent amount of money that, okay. that, uh, you, that, sir, that month. Uh, do you have medical insurance available for this child? Yes. That was one of our things. How all my kids. That, how much would that cost for you to add the child to your insurance? I'm not sure. I'm paying like three fifty right now. I'm not sure how much would it be. Three fifty to three hundred dollars right now. And is that um, a month? I don't think it. I don't, I don't think it, it, that would be like. Um, they take that out. They take right at three hundred dollars every paycheck out of my check on insurance. Okay. And how With often? Medical. Do you, how often do you get paid? Bi-weekly. I get twice okay. a month. And how many other people are on that insurance? Six, seven, right? So eight of my other, eight of my other kids, they are over eight. I mean, uh, I got two that's under eight. That's, that's uh, 12 and 13. Um, I got uh, my 18 year old and I got my 17 year old and I got a 16. A six fit to be sixteen year old on my insurance and myself. Um, what is that? That's about seven of my seven of us and my uh, and my wife. So, so eight total. Yes. And how many of those eight are under the age of eighteen? Um, not including my wife. The is. It's, it's six of them. Let's see. One, two. Three, How many four, children do you have six. under the age of 18 that are not included in this order? Six children. And all of those are under the age of 18? Yes, including Journey, yes. Okay, but I'm, I, I was asking that aren't in this order. So not in this order, you have seven oh, no, other... Not, not, oh, not in this order. There's... Uh, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five kids. Okay, 
So you have five children, not including Journey, that are under the age of 18. Yes. Okay. And do all of those children live with you? Uh, two of them do. And then the rest, the other two, they, they sometimes they, they, they visit me at, at my apartment and uh, down here. Okay, so two children live with you, and then you have three others. Are you ordered by the a court to pay child support for those other three? Yes. Okay. Your Honor, I don't have anything further of Mr. Randall. Um, I'd like to call Ms. Finch. Go ahead. Ms. Finch, can you state your name, please? I'm Sabrina Finch. And you work for the Office of the Attorney General? Yes, ma'am. And how long have you worked for them? Uh, a couple of years. And um, what is your job title? Financial specialist. And as part of your job duties, do you have um, access and information from employers regarding our customers' wages? Yes. And do you have that information for Mr. Everett? Yes, I do. And um, what quarters have you looked at for his wages? Uh, first quarter of 2021, fourth quarter of 2020, third quarter of 2020, and second quarter of 2020, 12 months. Okay, in the second quarter of 2020, how much did he make? He made $34,633, dollars and fifty cents. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. I need to miss Finch. For that quarter. I'm sorry. That, no, I just heard three different figures. No, I'm sorry. I was trying to think. For the second quarter of 2020, he made $34,822.58. And for the third quarter of 2020, how much did he make? $40,563.71. And for the fourth quarter of 2020, how much did he make? $31,356.36. And the first quarter of 2021, how much did he make? $38,858.26. And so what was his total gross for the last 12 months? Total gross was Just to round it off, it was one forty five five ninety nine. And so, what was his monthly gross? Monthly gross is twelve thousand one thirty three twenty five. And so, would it would his net fall under the the maximum net of ninety two hundred? Yes, the net was eight and eight eight. $8,911.69. Okay, so it's under the 9,200. Right. Um, did you, were you able to, to determine um, what the child support would be or, or did you know how many other children he had? Well, when I spoke with Mr. Everett, the impression that I received was that he had um, three children on another case, but one of those children had emancipated on his other child support case. Um, and then the two children that are in the home with him, I was under the impression that those were stepchildren. I didn't calculate those in. Okay. So I was under the impression that those weren't his biological children. So he only had two other children that he's currently paying child support for. So okay. that's the basis of my calculations. On the health insurance, he um, wasn't able to tell me how much he was paying. He actually indicated he had nine people on there and this child would be the 10th individual. Okay insurance. Um, so I wasn't able to calculate the insurance, but based on our discussion, 
I came up with a monthly amount of $1,425.87. Okay. Thank you. I have nothing further of this witness, Your Honor. Um, I would like to call, uh, recall Mr. Abbott to ask him about whether or not those children are his or their stepchildren. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Averett, are the children yes. living in your home, your biological children? Yes, ma'am. They're my biological children. Okay. They're not stepchildren. No, ma'am. And then your three children in your other order, is one of those children already 18? Yes, ma'am. He just turned 18 this year. Okay. So you just have two other children that are not living with you um, that are un under the age of 18? Yes, ma'am. So a total of four? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Your Honor, I have nothing further. Call your next witness. I have no, I have no further witnesses, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a question. Uh, I'll get right to you, Miss Randall. Let me ask some questions first, okay? Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Um, Mr. Averett, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you, Mr. Averett. When when Miss uh, Finch testified. She seemed to indicate that the two children that are living with you in your apartment were your stepchildren. Why do you think she would she would come up with that? I guess she must have misunderstood what I was saying. All right. So those two, so those two children that are in your apartment, those that live with you, um, those are your biological children. Is that correct? Yes, I got two biological uh, children that, that lives with me. All right. And where, where is the mother of those two children? Uh, in Louisiana. Okay. And how old are those children? Uh, 12 and 13. Huh. So they're, they're there in the apartment by themselves during the day while you're working? No, they're with their mother. Oh, but, they're, but their mother's in Louisiana? Yes. Okay. So, Mr. Aver, you said that um, that you make uh, your your gross is thirty five hundred dollars every two weeks. Is that right? Yes, sir. Huh. But you do make a lot more than that because of whatever additional circumstances you get paid for from your company, right? Yeah, that, like that's every that's like the uh, catastrophic things go on in the area, tornadoes or freezes like happen and stuff like that. Well, I mean, let's be honest about it, Mr. Avery. I mean, you testified that you make $3,500 over two weeks, but your employer told the state of Texas that you made over $145,000 last year. That's a lot more yeah, than 35. Uh, that's a lot more than 3,500 every two weeks. Wow. Well, like I said, I can get a, a, a letter from my employee stating what I'm telling you, what I'm saying today. <laughs> The problem is, Mr. Aver, is that your employer has already told the attorney wow. general what they paid you. Wow. Like. Miss Randall, yes, please, yes, sir. please don't say anything else while I'm talking to Mr. Aver. OK, yes, sir. yes, sir. But they told me also that if I needed to show the court a letter, they would write a letter stating that I don't that don't happen here all the time for us in my department to make overtime like that. Well, I, I completely understand that, Mr. Aver, but I mean, those were your wages for the last 12 months is what is what your employer told the AG's office, right? I mean, there's no guarantee, Mr. Avert, that you're going to make that kind of money in the future. I get it. But that is the income that you had last year, right? Yeah, based on uh, based on overtime, yes. Okay. Not, I do understand. Overtime. I do understand, Mr. Everett, that, that overtime is not guaranteed, but you need to understand, sir, that your income 
is what it is. And it's, it's what I'm required to set child support on. Not what you think you might make in the future, but what you have made in the past. I don't have to guess, Mr. Avert, at what you made last year. I would have to guess what you're going to make next year. So I showed Deja two months of paychecks where I only brought $1,800, $2,000, $1,600 a month. I mean, a, a, a bi-weekly home, take-home okay. pay. Well, Mr. Avert, the only problem with what your what your paycheck shows is your take-home pay is is that you're you're already paying child support for other children in the state of Louisiana, right? State of Texas. Oh, the, the other two children are in the state of Texas too. Yes, sir. Okay, so you see that's already coming out of your check. Do they take money out of your check for retirement? Yes. See all of those things, Mr. Ever, you're not supposed to get credit for except for a computation calculation that I'm supposed to use according to the statute. You don't get credit for that stuff just because that's what you're taking home. That doesn't mean what you make. You could jack up your income taxes, Mr. Avert, and and have a whole lot of money taken out of your check every two weeks to to hide tax money from me. It's just not going to work because I already have the calculation in front of me. Only thing, only thing I had coming out of my check is 401k, and that was only $300. Okay. That was it. Now, I'm about to cut. I, I mean, that's the only thing coming out of my check. Everything else is federal tax, Social Security, Medi Medicaid taxes, dental, uh, life insurance for my kids, sure. medical expenses, vision. That's all of that stuff is coming out of my check. There's nothing else pertaining to benefit me coming out of my check but just that little 401k. Okay. That's it. Well. Now I can show you, I can put, I can show you that on paper. There's nothing that I'm hiding from anything. I work every day, like, you know, a normal person do, but what's going to happen if you, if, if I don't know what the outcome of this is going to be is that I don't want to be a type of person to be in the rears based on the other case that I have as well. If okay. it is going to be like how that, it's going to need to be for modification. It's going to mod be modified. How much, the other mother. Child, how much is your child support in the other case, Mr. Avery? I pay seven hundred and it's eight hundred, almost eighteen hundred dollars a month. It's seven hundred and fifty-eight dollars, sometimes a little bit more than that, okay. every two weeks to come out my check for those kids, for my okay. kids there. Uh, Miss Randall, did you have anything else that you wanted to offer? Um, yes, I had a few questions that I had um, to, that I needed answer if it can be answered um the first question i had was um how much monthly is he supposed to be paying to pan for journey how much monthly according to my calculations it's 1435 dollars that's what i calculated at okay um By I'm listening to you and everybody else, and he showed me his check stuff. So, but you guys are saying that it's like it's more. So it's like I'm like confused right now. Miss Randall, um, let me see if I can might be able to explain it to you. I don't I don't guess when it comes to the numbers. I just listen to the testimony and then I base child support on what the evidence is. And the evidence is, is that Mr. Averett earned over $145,000 last year. So while I understand Mr. Averett's concerns that he may not make that much money in the future, I don't have anything that, but uh, the ability to guess at what he might make in the future. I know what he made last year and I can yes, base sir. child support on what he made last year because that's what's been reported. Yes, sir. Okay. So. Yes, sir. I can't set child support on what might happen in the future because I don't have any idea what the numbers would be. Yes, sir. In fact, Mr. Averett's child support is not even being, if, if I set child support at the number that I set it at, that's not even the max because he makes more money than that. I'm only going to set child support on the $9,200 a month net that he's reporting from his employer. He actually makes more than that. And I don't know where the money goes. That's none of my business. But I, I know his employer reported more money than that last year. Yes, sir. 
So, I have another you, so question. You're saying I make, Mr. Avery. So, you're saying I got Mr. a Avery. I have a question. Mr. Avery, I didn't ask you yeah. any more questions. Please don't interrupt me when I'm talking to Miss Randall. I'm sorry. Miss Randall, you said that you wanted to move to Houston. Why do you think you should be allowed to go to Houston? Um, I had one. <laughs> I had wanted to start over and um, be closer to um, my family. Um, I have family out there, which I have family out here too, where I'm at as well. But um, the family that I'm closer to is out there in Houston. And um, I would like to be closer and just, you know, better opportunities a little bit. So that's why I wanted to move. Well, that may be. The problem is, is that Mr. Averett is entitled to time with Journey. Huh? Yes, sir. And if I let you move to Houston, then that's going to have a negative impact on Mr. Averett's ability to spend time with Journey because based on his work schedule, he might find it difficult trying to go back and forth to see the child if he has to go all the way to Houston and pick up the child. You understand? Yes, sir. So that's the reason why there's a rule in place that prohibits you from doing exactly what it is that you want to do. Now, if you had some great reason for moving to Houston, if somebody had offered you some wonderful job over there, or you had gotten some scholarship at a college somewhere and you needed to move there to go to school, that might be a different story. But just because you need a change of scenery, whether it's the right way for you to go or not, that's not sufficient for me to allow you to move to Harris County. Mr. Averett, um, what if I discounted your child support if you let Miss Randall move to Houston? Would you be agreeable to that? What do you mean by that? Well, you'd be uh, responsible. You'd be responsible, Mr. Averett, for driving back and forth to Harris County to see your child. I would give you a discount on the child support based on the fact that you would have to absorb the travel cost. Would you be willing to allow that to happen? Yes, what would the, how much a discount oh, you're talking about? So this, well, it's, I don't know. A, if, you were gonna, if, you were gonna, if you were going to spend time with Journey, it'd probably be pretty, pretty substantial since you're going to have to be driving about, oh, I don't know. If you live in Port Arthur, depending on what part of Houston she moves to, it could be as much as three or four hours back and forth. Yes, it is. Is that something that you think you might be amenable to, Miss Randall? Um, I I want to move, but I don't see the problem is right now is I'm doing this for my daughter. This is this is I'm this is I'm doing this for my daughter. And another thing is too, I don't want to put her dad, which is who you guys are talking. To, I don't want to put him in a bind. And I'm doing this so I can have a better life, and my child can have a better life. I don't know if he's gonna come down there. Like how you guys are saying that he needs to be down the, the first, the fifth. I don't know if he's gonna do that because it is is it is so much stuff that be going on. It's, it's like too much. Right. So I mean, I'm not even sure if he's gonna do that or not. Right. Okay. And I'm just being honest. I'm not being oh. rude. I don't even know if he's gonna follow through with Ms. this. Rand Miss Randall, you're not being rude. You are being honest, and I do appreciate it. Okay. I mean, she's almost three, right? Yes, sir. She's almost three. Her birthday is in August. August, yeah. Yes, sir. Well, you heard the figures, Miss Randall, fourteen hundred thirty-five dollars. Do you think that's what I sell to set child support at? Um. I mean, Mister Averett had said something when we got started on the hearing that he thought you and you and he had worked something out. Did y'all work yeah. out a fig did y'all work out a figure for child support? Yes, but we did work something out. But now that I'm listening and you guys went over the wages, 
mm-hmm. and stuff like that. I'm I'm like uh, I'm still like kind of yeah. Yes, Matt. Yes, sir. So yeah. I get it. You That's get fine. it. You get I do, it. I get it. Mr. Avert, you said that the two children that you have with the other lady in Louisiana, she keeps them during the day most of the time, but you have them on a pretty regular basis. Yes, sir. And you spend time with them, you see them? Yes, I've been. Yes, all the time. And you support them? You, you give the mother money to support the children? Yes. Yes, I do. Anything else, Miss Overstreet? No, Your Honor. Miss Randall, um, I'll, I'll get with you. No. I promise. Miss Randall, is there anything else about this case you think I need to know about before I make a ruling? Um, I had a few other questions. I had a few other questions. Um, well, not any other questions. Um, so he does has he do have visitation? Like he, you know, he can come. Do I have to stay here, or like, do I have to stay here in Port Arthur? <laughs> yes, ma'am, you do. <laughs> um, does that mean? Really? That, are you, Miss Randall? That doesn't mean that you can't travel, but the child will live in Jefferson County or a county that touches Jefferson County, unless Mr. <laughs> Averett agrees to allow you to move, or the district judge agrees to allow you to move. That's the that's the problem that you have when you have a child that's born in this county. That's their rule, Miss Randall. I didn't make it. I'm just one of the judges that enforces it. Okay. Yes, sir. I I understand. Um, I had one more question. Sure. Um. Um. The question I had was, um, so I have to stay here. Um, are you guys gonna um, ask for? Is he gonna visit her more than what you guys said for him to visit, like the first and the fifth and all that? No, it's going to be in the order that he has visitation as per the standard possession order, Miss Randall. If I if I rule that way, and that means that Mr. Averett would have the first, third, and fifth weekend of each month, every other. So- home- every other holiday, 30 days in the summer, and then every Father's Day weekend. It amounts to about 40% of the year. So he has to, he have to visit her with, he don't have to? Nope. I give him the rights to see the child, Miss Randall, but I can't force him to be a good dad. <laughs> I can force him to pay the child support and I can force him to pay the medical support, but I can't force him to be a good parent. I don't have that ability. It's way outside the realm of what I can do. Okay. Okay. Um, I have one more question. Yes, ma'am. Um, so since I can't move, um, um, How the young lady um, that I spoke to earlier, she asked me that I want to um, do um, back pay. Yes, ma'am. Um, can I pick a certain amount of back pay that I would like to do? No, ma'am. Yeah. 
Do you think, do you, do you think that Mr. Avery should pay you retroactive child support? Mommy, let's finish. Let's finish. Uh, I got spit out. Whoa. You okay? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's not what you said before. You, before you said you you didn't want back child support in this case because you didn't think that Mr. Avert could afford it. Now you're changing your mind in regards to that? Miss Brown Zito, I don't need any comments from you whatsoever in regards to this case. If you continue to make facial recognition movements in regards to this video, I'm going to remove you from my courtroom. Miss Randall, are you saying now that you've changed your mind and you would like some retroactive child support in this case? Whoa. Yes, um, yes. Okay. Why that. do you think why do you think now that you should get retroactive child support after you've already said that you didn't want it? Um, because he won't because I'm trying to work. Okay, this is why I feel some type of because I don't um I don't I don't like calling oh, nothing oh, in but I'm trying to work with him I'm working with him and I'm trying to do what's best for my daughter at the same time well, so well, I'm working with him and trying well, to do what's best for journey I need him to work with me as well too okay and the I don't problem. feel like he's working with me right now he's not saying enough well, I need him and I know he's listening to me I need him to say well, I mean, again, Ms. Randall, I, I'm, I don't think that there's anyone in this courtroom that's going to be able to alleviate your fears as far as what Mr. Averett may or may not do in the future. I, I just, whether he tells you or doesn't tell you that he's going to be a good dad for Journey, that's his personal decision that you're going to have to make. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm aware of that. I'm aware. I understand. It's, it's not that. It's just that I'm also doing this for my daughter and I'm also trying to look out as well and I need him to look out for me as well too and I don't feel like he's looking out for me like I'm looking out for him okay well it's not always a two-way street Miss Randall that's for sure can I uh, can I speak now or I was just making sure. Is that all you need? Is that is that everything that you wanted me to hear, Miss Randall? Yes, right now at the moment, yes, sir. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Aver. Is there anything else you think I need to know about this case before I make a ruling? Yes, um, we we did talk about she was going to waive the back child support for whatever reason. She done changed her mind because of the living conditions, you know. She done waited. She done said she wants the back child support. I don't. God forbid what that's going to be. But anyway, Deja has already moved to Houston, and I disagree with the fact that she. I, I, I disagree oh, with the Ms. fact Randall, that she's already. I, in Houston. I need to get this addressed right now. Is that true, Miss Randall? Have you already moved to Houston? I I, I have, and then I have not moved there. Ms. I, Randall, I have that's a pretty simple question. And it only requires a yes or no answer. Do you or do you not live in Houston? No, I don't. I, I don't stay there. What is your current address? My current me, address is three. Just give me the city and the street. Okay, 311 North Vista Drive. And where is that? What city? Um, Houston, Texas, Harris County. Houston, okay. Harris County. Thank you, Ms. Randall. Is there anything yes, further from the state of Texas? No, Your Honor. Ms. Overstreet, your case is dismissed. Thank you, Your Honor. There will be no child support. There will be no medical support. There will be no visitation. There will be no finding that Mr. Averett is the father. The mother has moved and changed residences to Harris County. And if a new lawsuit will have to be filed in this case, there will be, have to be filed in Harris County. Hey. Can you, can, you, can you repeat that, sir? I've denied the state's motion for child support, medical support, visitation, and custody of the child, Ms. Randall. You no longer live in, this, in Jefferson County, and therefore this county no longer has jurisdiction to hear your case. I, sir, you I stay. You I have stay. It, Ms. Randall, Ms. Randall, you don't get to have all of it. Okay? You don't get to live where you want to live in violations of the laws of this county. 
that I that, that I practice in that I'm the judge that I'm one of the judges in, but then move off somewhere else and hope that I'm going to continue to hit Mr. Averett for max child support and max retroactive child support. You can't have both. <laughs>